Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. I got a CCNA and CSENT quick quiz for you here on locally significant only values. And with no further ado, just tell me which of these five values is locally significant only. The OSPF process ID, the frame relay DELSI, the EIGRP AS number, the OSPF hello time, and the OSPF dead time. We'll go through the answers and also just exactly what locally significant only means in just a moment. I want to thank you for putting us over 2,000 students in my CCNA on the go video boot camp. We're really excited about that. It's one of the fastest selling courses on Udemy. And right now, if you use the coupon code Bulldog60, you will take that price from a very reasonable $125 down to $44. That's less than $2 an hour. For my world-class CCNA video bootcamp training, you definitely want to be a part of that. Now let's talk about these locally significant only values. And I say the name is the recipe so often in networking, and that's exactly what this is. It's a value that's important only to the router that you're configuring it on, and downstream routers couldn't care less. And the first value that I gave you, the OSPF process ID, is locally significant only. Neighbors, potential neighbors in OSPF do not have to agree on the process ID in order to become neighbors, so it's locally significant only. The same can be said of the frame relay DELSI. You can actually use the same DELSI throughout your network if you wanted to. That can lead to confusion, so I don't like to do it. Uh, but again, the frame relay DELSI is not really being advertised to a particular router downstream. It's not something the neighbors have to agree on, so that's locally significant only. C, D, and E are all non-locally significant only. Uh, they are very significant to potential downstream neighbors. The EIGRP autonomous system number, that is one of the values that two potential neighbors have to agree on in order to become neighbors in EIGRP. So that is not locally significant. And the OSPF hello and dead time, we know that neighbors have to agree on those in OSPF to become neighbors. So the only two locally significant values here are A and B, the OSPF process ID and the frame relay DELSI. Thanks for taking this CCNA quick quiz. I've got a lot more of these coming on YouTube and I've got several of them there now. So make sure to check us out there and my free courses on Udemy.com as well. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making us part of your CCNA success story.